Okay, so here's my quick guide to the sheep lungs. At the top, you can see is the main tube down into the lungs. This is called the trachea or the windpipe. It's got these lovely C-shaped rings of cartilage, as you can see where I've just cut it open here. And that is to maintain the structure of the trachea and keep the airway open at all times so that you don't suffocate. As you go down the trachea, the tube will split into two halves. One will go into the left lung, one will go into the right lung. These are called the left and right bronchi. They will then go into smaller tubes called the bronchioles, and finally into the tiny little microscopic air sacs called alveoli. And this is where the gaseous exchange occurs. If I hold them up, you can see the different lobes of the lungs coming off, and that will be so that when they inflate, they will fill each space in the thorax. Underneath is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a very, very thin sheet of muscle and very, very strong, and that will contract and relax in order to help with ventilation, breathing in and out. So strong, you can't even tear it. Aye. Now it's important to do this carefully, not too So what can we see here? We can see some 